I'm sad. That's why there's a little bit of a space that I probably edited. Right when I'm going over, I'm gonna. I I edit. I don't know if you listen to the to the show, Eric. I make sure I even edit all of our like one second breaths. It's so bad, yeah. listeners. T- tell us if it if you ever notice that me if you notice me Eric or Bruce breathing at all in these podcasts, then I haven't done my job because I try to cut everything down yeah, to the bone. Have you ever noticed so, that I cut down? I, I do. To the I do. Sometimes we'll pause for like comedic timing, and that timing goes <laughs> out the window because Greg would his hands is like, nope, clip out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I I hit Eric and Bruce at the kneecaps. Unfortunately, the kneecap that was hit this week is mine because I e- no, I'm not going to be a spoiled brat about it. My fault. I emailed the powers that be for kneecap. Hey, heard this is a really good movie. Can you send me and Bruce and Eric a link? They didn't send it. Come the weekend's over. Monday, I ask again. And that wonderful publicist, he or she... Did exactly that. Bruce and Eric got the screening link. Me, who's requested three times. Third time I said, look, I didn't get it. Bruce and Eric did get it. I know Bruce likes it. By the way, I did not listen to Cinematic, but I know Bruce said in our messages that he did like kneecap. So check out his review. But only Bruce and Eric got kneecap. And I'm very, very sad. There is a long plot summary here that I am too lazy to read. I will read it if you want, Eric Holmes, to tackle the plot summary, but I will throw it to you if you want to do the plot summary for kneecap. I'm really sad that I did not get to see this movie. Our wonderful buddy, William Lindis also mentioned how much he loves kneecap. I'm assuming Eric Holmes loves this as well. Yeah. Bruce liked it. Kneecap. Wait, wait, do you wait. want to plot? <laughs> we, we got another banger. <laughs> okay. Do you want to go for the plot or you want me to read off? Um, the you know what? I, I don't really know that it's necessary. Uh, I guess uh, yeah, you can read the. You can read the. Thing. Okay, I'm kind of. Sure. I'm kind of. I'm kind of curious of what they think this is. All right, very good, Eric. Quote: When fate brings Belfast school teacher JJ into the orbit of self-confessed quote low life scum, Noise or Noise and Liam Og, the needle drops on a hip hop act like no other, rapping in their native Irish language. Language kneecap fast becomes the unlikely figureheads of a civil rights movement to save their mother tongue. But the trio must first overcome police, paramilitaries, and politicians trying to silence their defiant sound whilst their anarchic anarchic approach to life often makes them their own worst enemies. I do know this indie film also stars Michael Fassbender. That's yes. it. Kneecap. Uh, Go for it, Eric. Actually, it, that was really good. <laughs> that kind of nailed it. <laughs> you know, what, <laughs> what, what the plot summary doesn't get is the energy this movie has you you could power a city with the amount of energy coming out of this movie it's got like a it's got kind of like a old school guy Ritchie sort of feel to it like the snatch or lock sock two smoking barrels you know it's like a 2024 version of that the snap but not derivative right not derivative of the no guy no Ritchie but movie. but it's got that same like remember like watching like snatch for or snatch for the first time it's like whoa sure. or lock sock and it's like whoa, whoa you know you get done watching yeah. the movie and you got to you know, go sit in some air conditioning after a while because you're just sweating your balls off. The pacing of this is just so, like, upbeat and fantastic. The music in this is great. I love the music in this. Uh, it's kind of like a electro a rap, I guess. I, I don't know what, you know, I, there's so many different genres that people call for the same type of music, but I don't know what this genre is, but I like it a lot. It's really, uh, really catchy, really fun to listen to. And yeah, it's got the, it's got that kind of punk rock spirit to it, mostly because in this uh, setup, like you have people speaking the Queen's English and they have people speaking Irish. It's almost like a, it's almost like a political Mm -hmm. statement because some people just refuse to learn Irish, but they can't quite make them speak English if they don't want to. But they're trying to make that become a thing. It, it, it's, it's like a weird political machination that I didn't know existed, and I'm still not 100% sure I understand. But it, it's brought up basically what it is is when people speak, uh, what, was the, what was the line my, Michael Fassbender said? Every word spoken, oh, what was it? Every word spoken is a bullet towards Irish freedom. 
or something like that. Or, or okay. Yeah. Like no, no. Pushing us towards Irish freedom, something like that. So, right. like, basically being able to speak Irish is really important to them. And then, so you have these two guys, and they're like, Michael Fassbender is kind of out of the picture. It's unclear whether he's dead or not. It was just one of those things like, did he kill himself? Was he killed? Was it an accident? Is he in hiding? We don't know. He just kind of, he's kind of at the beginning of the movie and then he disappears. And then you follow the two rappers. They kind of take this seriously and they decide they want to start a, you know, start a rap, a rap group. I hesitate to compare them to Insane Clown Posse because I really don't like Insane Clown Posse. <laughs> but uh, it, it's, the, they're like one of those rap groups. It's like really, uh, uh, what's the word? Like, the, you know, they really, words provocative both their stage presence and their lyrics are really provocative they talk about doing drugs a lot uh even some shows they'll like do drugs on stage throw drugs out to the the crowd and then the fact that like they're speaking mostly in irish they kind of blow up because a bunch of people want to go to their shows and then they come to find out that like a bunch of people want to understand their lyrics so they're learning the irish language and then so that that's kind of expanding as well. That's very cool. Yeah, that's very, very cool. And uh yeah, it, it, it goes a bunch of strange places. It's I think Bruce mentioned in our thing that this is an Anderson movie. And I a mm. thousand if Anderson doesn't like this movie, I will be shocked. Absolutely shocked. But this has like a kind of dinner in America. Dinner in America. There you go. Like uh, like how that's got that kind of. Uh, don't that, make that, sure not to give Anderson that movie recommendation for kneecap. We don't want to help the. To, I already the texted him about it. How dare you? Don't ever but, help Anderson. <laughs> but but either way, it, it's got that kind of dinner in America feel as far as like the, okay. the the punk rock kind of spirit of this goes. And it's also got a similar look to uh, Writers of Justice, you know. Where oh my you got, gosh, where, where these are huge. Got, where, where you got a bunch of like interesting characters just kind of coalescing into this crazy story. Oh, I'm they, getting really mad now. This is a really great movie, Eric. It sounds it like is. a really, really. I, oh, it no. is. And are, I, does it? Oh, is I, your mood I, on another level after finishing Kneecap? It's that good as far as like yeah oh yeah like yeah really knee, kneecaps like one of those movies where like once it's done it's like i gotta put this on again that, that was just way too much fun it was so oh, good um and i hope i'm overselling this because i think the movie can stand up to that kind of scrutiny